Hi students, welcome back to another video. In this lesson, we will see how the subject verb agreement goes in a sentence. And before that, we have to look how will be the structure of a sentence in English. A sentence has two parts. One is the subject and the predicate. Subject also we have discussed in the last video. Those persons, I, we, you. Uh, I here is the subject. Ran is the predicate. What comes here since the verb in a sentence, the verb part will be as part of predicate and the subject is part of the subject itself. Subject stands alone in the sentence as. And for example, he has passed the exam. For example, he has passed the exam. He is the subject and has passed the exam is the part of predicate. Auxiliary verb has functions as a supporting verb or a helping verb for past. So past is the main verb there. So this part of sentence is known as predicate. be the pattern of a sentence in English. The pattern of a sentence in English will be in SVO pattern. Subject, verb, object means subject, verb, object pattern. Subject will be at the beginning. Subject, verb, verb, then object. Subject, verb, object. The verb part of the sentence is predicate. The other part is subject. In the following example, always a sentence will be structured like this. He bought a gift. A gift, he is the subject. Bought is the verb. A gift is the object. A is an article. Gift is an object. A is part of that object. Then he gave me a gift. He is the subject. Gave is the verb. Then the remaining part are objects. Me is an indirect object. And gift is a direct object. A is an article and he is buying a gift here you can see here gave and bought are main verbs in this sentence and and in this sentence you can see here is is used as an helping verb that means an auxiliary so this auxiliary is part of this verb main verb so he is a subject is buying is part of the verb and a gift is part of the object and a is an article in the sentence so this will be sentences in english will be written like this in subject verb object pattern this will be changed only in the passive voice. We will do a lesson on passive voice and active voice. 